Maylene, welcome back, Maylene. How are you? Everything good? All good, Maylene? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. All right, I can't hear you if you're, if you're talking, all right? Oh, is it me? I can't hear you. Uh, hello, David, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey. Okay. So, so yeah, it is your audio, uh, Maylene. All right, so um, I'm sending a message to everyone, guys, because you guys are, Guys, it's my favorite. Be, be, be on time, okay? All right. Um, Ma Maria Belen, how are you? So how was your day, guys? How was work? How was work today, David? Uh, a little hard. A little and sad hard. because the selector lose. Last, not Last. lose, Last. Yeah, okay. I. I didn't watch the game. I'm I'm not a soccer fan, but I I saw the news. It was like three zero, right? Yeah, three zero. Wow, dude. <laughs> bad news. <laughs> did they play bad? Like, did they play worse than last time, or? Um. Or do really, they... Canada is better than than ours. Ours players. Okay, so it was it was because Canada played way better. Yes. Yes. They have uh, uh, better players. They have better players too. Okay, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I, I wouldn't consider Canada to be a soccer, a soccer. Um, I say soccer. So a soccer. Soccer. Uh, a soccer. A soccer. Um, uh, you know, country. I, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't see them. You know, too much into into soccer. So, anyways. That's crazy. Uh, oh, that's maybe that's why people are coming late, huh? <laughs> yes. All right. What about you, Maria Belen? How's everything? Fine, thank you. How was how was work today? How was your workout? Did you already work out? Yes. <laughs> you did? All day. Yes. All day. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, every day. Every day. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought that. Wow. All day. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I started I started working out today, you know. Um I have have some um have a uh I have a weight bench. Um I have went a uh, weight bench in my house. So I which just started bench? working. A weight bench. Who, a weight bench who is, is a, a bench. bench. A ah, weight bench. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I have one um and I I mean I got my I I lost I I had written my routine well, I, I sent my routine to someone else so I could have a backup, but but I I switched cell phones so I don't have my routine anymore. So I, I just gotta I just gotta remember, you know, what my routine was. So, but yeah, I gotta you know I gotta lose some pounds. <laughs> I gotta lose a lot of pounds actually. All right, uh, Ingrid, welcome, Ingrid. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm great. Good to see you. How was your day? How was you know how how have you been dealing with uh with the rain? Um, if you get a message right now, guys, yeah. uh, disregard it. I'm just sending a message to everybody who hasn't joined yet. Okay. Yes, Ingrid. I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, in my house, uh, hasta ahorita, um. Hasta ahorita. That's not English. I don't understand. Hasta ahorita. Uh, it's raining. Uh, it start. It start raining right now. It started raining. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hello. Yeah. It just started. Can you raining. hear me? Yes, Maylene. We can hear you now. Because my computer, I don't know. 
it doesn't work and tomorrow I go to the work and the TI check me because sometimes it's well and sometimes no. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Right. Very good. Very good. All right, great guys. So I uh, just sent a message to everybody, guys. Anyway, so uh, let's get started, guys. We're talking about model verbs, okay? So today uh, we're gonna have some practice, guys. We have a lot of material to cover today. So let's get down to business, okay? Um, anyways, all right, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, guys, so uh, let's do a quick recap of what we saw yesterday, okay? So remember, guys, we use model verbs for what? And uh, 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 verbs, modify the verbs. Okay, very good. We modify verbs, right? Very good. All right. So we use it to modify verbs. All right. Now, okay, we we use it to talk about. Remember, possibility. What else? Shin. Uh, Shin. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, obligation. Okay, obligations. Okay. All right. Ability. What else? Abilities. Okay, good job. Abilities. What else? Permission. Permission. Okay. All right. What else? Everything that you got here, right in front of you. Prohibition. Right. Okay, great. Prohibition, guys. Not prohibition. Prohibition. Okay. Prohibition. Very good. Okay, guys. Okay. So, anyways, we already know that. So, um, these are some of the characteristics we find in, um, in model verbs, guys. Okay. What is the first characteristic we find here? Maylin, help me read. Um, they do not take an S in the third person singular from. Third, repeat she, third. 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 Third, okay. third person singular form. Okay, great. See? So now, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, thank you. Thank, thanks a lot, Maylin, right? Thank, thank you very much. Okay. All right. So guys, model verbs, guys, even if they are in third person, they share something in common. What they share in common, okay, what they share in common is um, not adding an S to the verb, okay? They work as auxiliaries, okay? So, for example, guys, you don't, you don't say, you know, uh, he could or he can't or he wills, got it? All right, now, 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 now. He wills, okay? <clears throat> You can say he wills, <laughs> all right? Did you know that? You can say he wills, okay? No. However, that is not a model verb, okay? All right, he wills means another thing, okay? For example, if he wills it, okay? All right, now that, that guys, okay, all right. Just FYI, no model verb, guys, you cannot add an S, guys, to any model verb whatsoever. Okay, never guys, okay? Even if it is even if it is third person, you can't add an S to a model verb, okay? No puedes, get it? No puedes agregarle una S a un model verb, aunque sea en tercera persona. All right, <clears throat> um, okay? So you can, all right? Very good, what else do they have in common? And oh, by the way, guys, okay? When you have time, guys, okay? Try to find out what that means, okay? Wills, guys, okay, it's also a verb, okay? All right, if he wills it, all right. Anyways, uh, next one, um, David, help me read number two. What else anyway, do they share in common? We cannot conjugate then. Example we given, conjugate him. we are must go. Exactly, guys, okay. You can't conjugate a model verb, okay. Yes, they're called model verbs, but think about it. Think about them not as verbs, but as auxiliaries, okay? Think of them more as auxiliaries rather than, than verbs, okay? 
piensen ellos más en auxiliares que en verbos, ¿ok? All right. Because you can't conjugate them, ¿ok? You can't say, you know, uh, I was, I was canning, right? That doesn't mean estaba pudiendo, right? Right? That doesn't exist. I, I don't think that even exists in Spanish either. Estaba pudiendo. I don't think it exists, guys. All right. Very good. So see, guys, you can't because again, guys, okay, they are auxiliaries. They are what, guys? Auxiliary. They are auxiliary. auxiliaries. Okay. Very good. They are auxiliaries. Okay. So, um, so that's that's rule number one, guys. Okay. I mean, rule number two. You can't conjugate. All right. See. Now, you can say, guys, he was canning, but then canning, guys. All right. Does does that exist? Do you think that exists? <laughs> Do you? Are you sure? One hundred percent? No. Let me let me let me tell you a, a tongue twister. Can a can can as a can or can can a can? That's a tongue twister, guys. Can a can can as a can or can can a can? Right. So. Can guys, it's also can also be an action verb, okay? It's, it's the action of canning something. Some putting like like putting something in a can. That is canning too, okay? Get it? All right, canning, all right? But then, okay, then you're not using can as an action as an auxiliary, okay? Again, guys, if it is if it is a modal verb, you do not use ing, okay? It's impossible, okay? Very good. Number three, uh, Maria Belen, help me read. They always remain, remain the same no matter the subject. Okay, so they always remain the same no matter the subject. Okay, again, they don't change, right? Number four, Ingrid. When they are next to another verb, there is never a two in the middle. Okay, so wait. I didn't understand what you said. When they, okay, can you please read it again? When, when they when are they next. Are next to another verb, there is never a two in the middle. Beautiful. Now, guys, this one, this one you should write it down in your notebook, okay? Everybody do my favor, show me your notebooks. Show me your notebooks, guys. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, beautiful. Now, guys, write this down because this one, guys, is, a, is one mistake that we commonly make in Spanish, okay? Um, using two. So, guys, you can never, guys, never say can to, must to. What else, guys? What other model do you know? Should to. All right. Uh, good to. All right, you cannot say this, guys, okay? No se puede usar tú, guys, después de un modal verb. Nunca, all right? All right, never, guys. All right, so that's another rule, okay? Then, guys, we have... Uh, so, see, I will come I will to come tomorrow. That's impossible, right? So, uh, last example, guys. I mean, last rule, guys. Uh, Jenny, help me read, Jenny. We can use them to form question in negative sentence, just like other actually. Repeat the verbs. sentences. Sentences. All right. Sentences? Auxiliary verbs, yes. Auxiliary, Auxiliary verbs. verbs. Auxiliary. 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 No, it's like this. Auxiliary. Oh, auxiliary. Yes, auxiliary. auxiliary verbs. Yes, okay, very good. Okay. All right, great, guys, okay. <laughs> All right, so here guys, see, since they are auxiliaries guys, you cannot combine them, combine them with other auxiliaries, okay? For example, you can't say do, right? Do you can, right? Can I say guys, is this correct? Do you can? Do you can? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, all right, why is that correct? Hold on, wait. 
Well, what does that mean? Guys, let's read this rule, guys. Take a look at that rule, right? This is why we're learning this part, okay? Remember, guys, what are motor verbs, guys? What is another name, guys, that a motor verb has? What is another name a model verb has? Auxiliary. No. Auxiliaries, guys, okay? Uh. All right, they are auxiliaries. Okay, now let me ask you something else. If I say do, guys, is this an auxiliary? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. okay, so Don't. guys, can I use, guys, an auxiliary? Plus an auxiliary. Yes or no? No. 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 Can I use this, guys? No, guys. All right, guys, you cannot say do you can. Okay. All right, they are auxiliary. So if it is an auxiliary, you guys, you say can you. Got it? Can you. Got it? All right, David, do we understand why we cannot say do you can? Um. No, mm, no, because the 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 syntax for 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 a, a, a question in in simple uh, simple present is do you can what what is can can is a verb what type of verb action verb who says that auxiliary verb. It is an auxiliary, okay? It's also called a model verb. Okay, model verb. Everything here tells us that this is a model verb, guys. I mean, can, right? Do you remember the model verbs, David? Can, what else? Uh, must. Good, right, Good. must, uh -huh. okay? So these are not action verbs, okay? Okay. All right, these are auxiliaries. These are model verbs, okay? So, I'll ask you again, can you say, do you can? It's incorrect. Do you can do it? Uh-huh. Is this correct or not? No, no. Why not? Uh, because uh, following the, the last uh, rule, it's incorrect because can is a model verb and do is a base form. Of there. No, no, this is okay. This is an auxiliary. Uh huh. And it, remember, guys, a model of verb is also also an auxiliary. Okay. So okay. if you use a model verb, this is auxiliary. So you don't need to. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you put this at the beginning, right? Do uh, can you do it? Got it? Uh huh. Yes. Got it, guys. Es un auxiliar. El auxiliar. Los model verbs, guys, no van nunca, 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 nunca van a ver un model verb. Con, con, haciendo una pregunta con la palabra do or does. Okay. Got it? Okay. Nunca, guys. Never. Because they are auxiliaries. They just son auxiliares. Yes. Does that make sense, guys? All right, great. Yes. Very good. All right. So let's talk about, guys, how we can, uh, how we can give opinions, you know, uh, for possibilities. So let's talk about, you know, slight possibility and uh, strong possibility. Do we understand, guys, what the meaning of slight possibility is? No, right? Poco probable, right? Slight possibility. Strong possibility is high, right? Got it? Very good. So, guys, when we want to talk about possibility, all right, I want you to write this down in your notebook, guys. Escriban estas dos partes en su cuaderno, right? When you want to talk about possibility, guys, you can use models or you can use adverbs, all right? So you can use models and you can use adverb, guys, okay? So you can say it might, right? It could mean, it must mean, okay? Now, I want you guys to remember these phrases, okay? Creo que recuerden esta frase, all right? Toda la frase, okay? It might or it may mean, it could mean or it must mean, okay? Because, guys, you are going to give me opinions, okay? Me va a dar opiniones, okay? Now, we can say this, all right? Or we or we can say maybe or perhaps it means, okay? All right? Now, this maybe or perhaps it means, 
is the same as this, guys. Estas dos cosas significan lo mismo. Okay. What is the difference, guys? The structure changes, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna explain that. Okay, la estructura cambia, right? And um, and we are not using models anymore. We're using adverbs. Okay. If I say, guys, uh, it could mean, right? I'm not, first of all, I'm not talking in the past. I'm talking about a possibility. When we talk about possibilities, we are always referring to the future, okay? Guys, cuando se habla de posibilidad, nunca se habla del pasado. A menos que ustedes un modal verb in the past, okay? It could have meant, for example, right? Could have. But in this case, guys, if you only use could, si solo says could, right? If you only use could, guys, it means a possibility for the future, okay? All right, now uh, you can say, you can use a model, right? It could mean, or you can see, use an adverb, possibly or probably. It possibly means or it probably means, okay? That is the adverb, all right? Same with model here. What is the model that we have here, guys? ¿Cuál es el model que tenemos aquí? Must. Must, must right? So we have must, tenemos must, right? All right, and what is the adverb that we have here? Finally. Definitely. Repeat, guys. Definitely. Definitely. Everybody, everybody repeat. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, guys. So, so here, guys. Okay, let's talk about... Let's talk about... Let's say, guys, that... You know what? I like... Let, let me give you a, a good example of what I mean, okay? So, so these refers, guys, to... Um, so, so this refers to possibility, okay? How probable, how possible or how probable is something, um, are the chances of something to happen, okay? Que tan probable es que algo pase, okay? If you say it might or it may, that means low, uh, like, like low probability, guys, or high probability? Slight possibility. All right? Baja probabilidad, right? If you say it might happen or maybe it happens, right? Let me give you an example, right? Okay, so if I say, all right, let me, if I say maybe, guys, hold on, hold on, before we, we jump here, guys, okay? All right, so let's say, guys, that I say, oh, what's going on? There you go, okay. So let's let's talk about the first one here, okay? It might may mean, okay? Okay, um, if I say, guys, let's change it for Dua Lipa, okay? All right, Dua Lipa. All right, so let's talk about, let's talk about David's crush. All right. That's yes. that, that, that's me, not, not you, David. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Dua Lipa. Okay. okay. No, uh, so. <laughs> David's yes, corporativo. Right? David corporativo. <laughs> All right, so let's say, guys, Dua Lipa, right? Dua Lipa, see, Dua Lipa might like David, right? Low probability, right? Because, right, it, it's almost impossible, okay? There should be something even lower, right? All right. However, okay, what about uh, it could, right? We can say, uh, who do you think has higher chances of being liked by Dua Lipa. ¿Quién cree que tiene más probabilidad de que, le, de que a Dua Lipa le guste a la persona? What do you think? Who? Maybe an actor, right? All right. Maybe, Brad I don't know. Pitt? Brad Pitt, maybe, okay, maybe, okay. So middle probability because he's a little bit old, right? Maybe she's not into old dudes, right? So I'm gonna say, John Mendes? Right, Brad Pitt, right? I mean, Dua Lipa, right? Dua Lipa. How would we say it, guys? Dua Lipa what? Dua Lipa. Let's use it. Could. Let's use good. Could. Could. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Could. Could. Like. Like. Uh, right. Uh. Pit, right? Very good. See? Because he has higher probabilities than me, right? Porque él tiene más probabilidad que yo. Yes? All right. Very good. Now let's let's talk about someone whom Dua Lipa might really really like. How will we say Dua Lipa what? Must. 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 Okay. 
like like a think think about i don't know someone like maybe as handsome as she's beautiful alguien que sea tan guapo como ella es hermosa i don't know think about a name you know Sean Mendes. Okay. Okay, Sean Mendes. This is how you write it. Okay. All right. Very good. I don't think <laughs> he's too metro, you know. So, anyways. Uh, so see now here, guys, okay, right? Low probability, right? Low, low probability. All right. So low probability, right? Here, right? Better probability, better P, right? And here, guys, okay, this is high probability, okay? High probability, got it? Okay, so this is, this is how we use it, guys, all right? Now, let me give you other examples with adverbs, okay? But before we jump into adverbs, let's let's talk about, you know, what they are, okay? So far, guys, so, so good? So far, so good? Hasta ahorita, guys, vamos bien? Yes. Do we understand when we talk about models and probability? Entendemos hasta, hasta cómo usamos model, models y probabilidad? Yes. Yes, okay. Very good. Okay, so now let's talk about adverbs, okay? <clears throat> now, again, guys, these two things are the same. Las dos significan lo mismo, okay? The only thing that, um, the only thing that we're going to be looking into here is the uh the different the different structure all right so let me give you an example okay so let's talk about maybe right now notice guys if you want to put this into perspective we said hey dua lipa right might uh what was it uh yeah might okay let's use might right so do a do a loop do a loop do a lipa might uh, like, like pizza, maybe. right? Let's use pizza, right? Very good. So Dua Lipa might like pizza, right? So this is low or high probability, guys. What is it? Low. Low, low right? Now, if I use, this is a model, guys, okay? All right? We're using a model, all right? I'm using the model, okay? Now, if I say, guys, Dua Lipa, I want to use an adverb now, okay? All right. Now, first of all, this is wrong because we need to use the the, the adverb first, okay? Maybe, okay? Maybe Dua Lipa likes pizza. So what what do you notice here, guys? What do you notice in the structure? change okay so we got we got the subject right we got the subject number one might number two all right number the three adverb. and we got four right so here guys okay the adverb okay this is an adverb okay it's an adverb right this is an adverb guys okay the adverb takes position number one right so this is the difference see then we have the subject it has number two three and four everything else remains the same so i want you to notice this guys all right the difference here guys is the adverb takes position number one all right and the model so the adverb guys comes before the subject you can put it like that okay and the model comes after the subject got it all right yes all right now not in all cases, guys, okay? Not in all, in all, in all, in all cases. What if I say, guys, uh, let's talk about, let's talk about possibly, okay? All right? We can say Dua Lipa, all right? Can I say, guys, Dua Lipa possibly likes pizza? Would this be correct? Yes. All right, what do you no. think? What does the rest think, guys? No, the the subject, not the first, not, not the first. No, guys, it is possible. All right, 
That's why I say, you know, not in all cases. When we use maybe, all right, you cannot say Dua Lipa maybe likes pizza, right? But when we use possibly, guys, okay, you can say this, you can put it there, here, okay? Or you can say possibly, comma, then you would need to use a comma, right? Possibly, all right, possibly, comma, Dua Lipa likes pizza, right? But you can use it in both positions, guys, okay? All right, you're almost going to practice, guys, but um, so let's move on, okay? So, guys, the adverbs that you can use, okay, you should have them in your notebook, right? Adverbs, guys, maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. These are not models, okay? No, some models, guys. Got it? Remember that. They are not model verbs, okay? All right. Um, we already know this, guys. All right. So, here, guys, this, this is something I want you to to uh, take note of, okay? When we use maybe and perhaps, okay, esto es lo que le estaba diciendo hace poco, right? When we use maybe and perhaps, they always go at the, when guys? Where? Beginning. Beginning. At the beginning of a sentence, okay? And, all right, so maybe and perhaps, guys, tienen que ir siempre al principio de la oración. Got it? All right, those are the exceptions, okay? Now, possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject, okay? All right, these are adverbs or models, guys. Todos esos son adverbs or models, guys. What are they? Adverbs. They are adverbs, right? Very good. Okay, so now you can use possibly at the beginning if you use a comma, guys, all right, by the way. All right, so let's practice, guys, okay? So what else can you say about model, model verbs or model auxiliaries? Do you, do you often use them and why? Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave you this image here, guys, and I, I will put you into, in couples, and I want you to ask questions, all right, using model verbs. Now, how do we ask a question? You ask a question, guys, remember, model verbs are auxiliary. So where do you put the model, the model a verb if you want to ask a question? ¿Dónde colocas el model verb si necesitas pregunta, hacer una pregunta? In the first position. Very good. Okay. So can, all right. At the beginning, yes. Right. So can you, will you, right? But let's focus, let's focus on the ones that we learned, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, let's focus on, on, uh, well, can you, you know, um, may you, can I say must you guys? Okay, very good. Yes. All right. Very good. What else? What else? Should you, all right, you can should you, right? Very good, guys. All right. Well, do. Now, guys. Now, okay. So you can use, guys. You can use whatever models you want, okay? But I want you guys, I want you to use this, okay? I want you to to give your opinion, all right? So you must ask something, guys, so we can uh, so we can say, for example, um, it, it might mean, right? Or it possibly... What else? Uh, what was the other one, guys? Middle. What was middle probability? Probability, guys. Cool. Right. It cool. right. It could mean right. Hey, debe significar, right? In Spanish, guys, do not translate this, okay? Because when you translate, they don't have a translation, okay? Podría significar. Podría significar. They both mean like podría significar, guys, okay? All right, but one is less than the other one, right? And the other one, if you're like very sure, must. like if you're, if you're sure about something, guys, it must, right? It must mean, right? Debe significar, right? But again, guys, do not translate them, okay? So what can I ask, guys? Okay. So hey, what do you? You can ask something like, um, "What do you think about?" You can say something like this, right? When you say, what do you think, guys? You're asking about opinions, okay? So I want you to ask, what do you think? What do you think about, all right? What do you think about, and you give me an example, right? 
what do you think about uh, Bitcoin? Right? What do you think about Bitcoin? Right? And you can answer, oh, it might mean they want to launder money, right? Just, just an example. Do you know what launder is, guys? Right? Lavado. Lavar dinero, right? So, all right, maybe, right? I mean, that's an example. It's un ejemplo, guys. No, no, no me. Don't, don't lynch me. No me lynching. <laughs> all right. Very good. All right. So, it they, they might mean that, guys, right? So, um, what else? What do you think? What else can you ask, guys? ¿Qué más podríamos preguntar? What do you think about? What do you think about? Now, another way of asking what do you think about, guys, it's what's your take on? Repeat, guys. What's your take on? All right. What's, what's your, your take, take on? on? What's COVID. your take on? What's your take on COVID? ¿Cuál es tu opinión en COVID? All right. What's your take on? Right, this take on guys is it means um, like your opinion, okay? What's your take on COVID? Right? Oh, my take on COVID is right. You can you can say, you know, my take on COVID is that we are all going to be fine. Um, this must mean we we'll all get our shots, you know, COVID shots. Do you know what COVID shots are, guys? To vacunas, right? Right, or like Ingrid said, vacunated or something like that, right? All right, very good. <laughs> I'm kidding, uh, Ingrid. All right, so anyways, guys, okay? So see, this is how you can express an opinion too, right? Hey, uh, mi opinión del COVID es que podemos, vamos, todos vamos a estar bien. Eh, debe significar que todos vamos a obtener nuestra vacuna. Got it? Todos nos vamos a vacunar. All right. Yes? All right. Do we understand what we're going to do, guys? ¿Entendemos todo lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. All right. Very good. Now, do me a favor. Uh, take a screenshot, if you will. Guys, you can say by, for example, if you will. All right. Take a screenshot. I said, guys, take a screenshot if you will, okay? If you will, guys, is like saying if you want, okay? Es una expresión que significa lo mismo, si quieren, right? Got it? All right, very good. Um, Hilda, hey, nice to see you again, Hilda. Hilda, uh, Jose, uh, Tatiana, are we in the class? I'm asking, guys, so we can join you with a couple and you can practice, right? If you're not in the class, I cannot. I mean, you're not going to be able to practice with anyone. So are we in the class, guys? Hilda, Jose, Tatiana? Yes, teacher. Right, I'm here, but my, my internet is very in unstable. Unstable. When, when, when you use the, cam the camera. Unstable. All right. Unstable. Very good. But I'm here. Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, Jose, I just saw you. Thank you. And Tatiana? Are you there? All right. Okay, all right, she's here. Great, guys, okay. Um, okay, guys, so let's get started. Oh, okay, hold on, before I forget, uh, Jenny Quesada, hold on. You have two devices, that's why I just want to remember that. Okay. Very good, guys. Let's go. Hi, teacher. Uh, Hello. I didn't uh, take the the screen the screen the screenshot. Oh, okay, don't 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 worry. Okay, I'm I'm, okay. I'm gonna send it to the WhatsApp group. I did. Oh, there you go. Somebody send it. 
Only practice the this question, teacher. Use the modal. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's get started. All right, you remember, you need to ask the question, right? Hey, what do you think about, and you ask about anything you want to give an opinion on. Okay. Tienes que preguntar, what do you think about, y la otra persona te tiene que dar la opinión al respecto, okay? Okay. So. Question. What do you think about quarantine? Quarantine. 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 Yes. Quarantine. But the answer? Answer. Answer, sorry. Answer. Answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can say my take on it, my take on, Okay. Right? My take on uh, my take on, on on the quarantine is, and you give your opinion. Just just have a regular conversation, right? Okay. Okay. My take on of the quarantine quarantine. Uh, the people stayed with your family. Uh -huh. This must. Uh, must. This must. This must. <coughs> uh -huh. This must. Mean we stay with your family. Is that correct? I'm sorry, we are what? Um, this must mean uh -huh. the family stay together. This one, this must means, I mean, this must mean family stays together. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, that's correct. This must mean family or that family stays together. Yes. Stays, right? In third person. Stays. Yes. This must be. This must mean. This must mean, right? Mean. Uh, the family, okay. Stays together. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You could go, go, go home, go house, no say. Oh, you go. Are we, are we good? At home. <laughs> I think. But. Teacher. Tell me. Yeah. We need to the sentence the can call mouse. This is the the practice. The practice is you need to ask a question, right? Question. What is what's yeah, what's your opinion question. on, right? What's your opinion <laughs> on or what's your take on? What is opinion on uh, yes, right? And the other person needs to give your the, the opinion, right? Oh, okay. Right. Very good. Thank you, yeah, claro. Gracias. Okay. All right, a, a little confused. Mm -hmm. All right. Then you need to ask me questions if you didn't understand, right? Um, okay. Because it's, it's, le di el ejemplo de qué lo que era lo que tenía que hacer al principio. Right? Mm -hmm. Pero no, eh, pregúnteme cuando tenga alguna duda, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. What? Um. um we we work at, at the bank and the business could couldn't stop. 
the business. The business uh, couldn't, cool. stop. <laughs> couldn't stop. Okay. Okay. And what do you think about your job? Um, I really love my job. I I could I could visit uh, some some place in the country in in El Salvador in El Salvador. Uh, my job uh, is it's about uh, visit farmers. Do you like uh, work? Do you like work in the outside? Yes, yes. I I am a uh, agronom. I don't know what 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 do you say? Do you like English? working? That's how you ask it. Do you like working outside? Giovanni, así como preguntas. Do you like working outside? Okay. Do you like? All right. Yes. Do you like working outside? No. All right. So what you, do you say agronom in English? Um, agriculture, but but I don't I don't even know whether you you are you an engineer? Yes. So you are. Uh, what well, what what is your profession? In in Spanish. Ingeniero agronom. All right. Um. Uh, so, I. An agricultural engineer. Agricultural engineer. Agricultural engineer. Agricultural. 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 Engineer. Engineer. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. Do you work in your area? Yes. Uh, I work. I work in. In sales, sales. Okay. Uh, oh, sales of a product about uh, grow up the the plant cultivos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, product, products uh, for growing. Growing, growing, yes. uh, and to produce. Oh, food. nice, nice, nice. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I was not really sure because that's, I mean, that's, I've, I've never, that's, I don't see too many, I, I, I haven't met too many people studying agricultural engineering, you know, no he conocido muchas personas que han estudiado agricultural engineering, yeah, I dated, I dated a, a girl once, you know, in, in another, from another country, she studied there, you know, but but it was it was that that was a common career path. Uh, era una carrera bien 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 um, bien solicitada. Yes yes right. But here but I never understood exactly what she did. <laughs> we used to, <laughs> I mean she was, she was studying the time. We are like a doctor of the plant and. Oh um, okay. All right, we're good. The plans doctor, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great, guys, great. That's a good definition. I like that, okay? Good job. Any questions, guys? Everything good? No, teacher, uh, only uh, almost. Uh, teacher, my my opinion with uh, COVID is, yes. is, uh -huh, is uh, well, well, the COVID is a global this is it's a, the world on the world mm -hmm. but apart from uh, how do you say it's an enfermedad uh, fatal it's a mortal it's a it's a moral uh, moral disease it's, it's a moral disease uh, become uh, become a, a, a mental disease oh a mental a mental uh, disease a mental because illness Illness. A, mental illness. Uh -huh. a, a mental illness because the people the fear the fear well, for, because of people's fear okay 
the fear because um, for the the fear for the not and uh, no no give the the makes um, I know I don't know. <laughs> Lo que quiero decir es que no es Spanish eh, por... no Spanish. <laughs> Or is your so, brain to speak in Spanish? Uh -huh, okay. Brain to speak in English. Okay, because the people, uh, uh, I feel the, the 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 fear for this for for this disease. Um, uh, this reason is 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 very difficult because the people know. No se enferma. How do you people say? People don't. People don't get sick. Uh -huh. People don't don't get sick uh, for this virus because but, of uh, because this virus of, because of virus because of this virus. Okay. Uh, because, uh, I know. I don't. I don't know. All right. No. No. That's good. That's good. Actually, uh, I want to. I want to congratulate you because mm -hmm. you know. I mean, you're starting to learn, right? But, yes. but you're you're forcing your brain to speak teacher, in the language. Uh, so uh, that's when gonna you, help you a lot. Teacher, uh, it's a parenthesis because um, in an, in the past course, a different teacher is um, ha, has a different model. Methodology. Teach. Yes, teach uh, is. Uh, for me, I'm happy because you, you, this, you, the, you, um, all of the practice. And this, uh, the past case, only two, three students participate and the, and the rest, nothing. Oh, it, really? Okay. Yes, uh huh. It's, it's, for, it's difficult because, uh, nosotros no aprendemos. Mm -hmm. right. The practice so the, is very important. And, uh, and, Mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. So you think that you have, you have learned uh, more here? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I, I... So, so do you think do you, do you think that you have learned more here? Yes, but um, another course is. Mm -mm. All right. Well, hopefully you're with me next. You know the next. Uh, in the next module okay we have to go back now guys but thank you thanks a lot Ilda, and thank you okay. for practicing a lot all right guys welcome back how was your practice good hey now that i have everybody here guys um just just one last thing okay the platform, guys. How are we? How are we doing with the platform? Como vamos con la plataforma? For me, pending section four and five. Okay. Me too. Okay. Okay. Very good. You can finish section four and five. Actually, guys, you have to finish section four before the end of this week. Okay. You can finish the whole platform if you want. Okay. All right, that's okay, all right? Entre más rápido finalicen la, 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 la cosa así, guys, okay? The sooner you finish the platform, the sooner we, you can get to the next module, okay? Entre, si todos terminan la plataforma antes, guys, es más fácil empezar el módulo eh, más temprano. Got it? Uh, el siguiente módulo, guys. Because um, your goal, guys, is to get to advanced, right? Eh, su meta es llegar hasta avanzado y que se gradúen de avanzado, okay? Got it? So... <clears throat> So that is your goal, okay? Now, if you have me in advance, I'm not gonna speak in Spanish at all, guys. I can finally speak English and not, you know, and, and know that you understand everything I'm saying, right? Um, how, 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 how much do you think that you understand so far? Cuánto creen que entienden de lo que hablas ahorita? Really? Oh my God! Really? Wow. Fifty. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't know that, right? Uh, I, I really don't like speaking Spanish. I mean, realmente no me gusta hablar en español con los alumnos porque se mal acostumbran, and then you don't learn, okay? So it's better, you know, if we speak in English and not 
translate that all because at the end of the day, you know, your your ear gets used to that. Tu oído se acostumbra, you know, your ear gets used to that and and then you know that's it. So guys, um please finish. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Maybe when they start the new uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't know. Es, es que eso depende. So, todo el mundo tiene que haber terminado la plataforma y haberse inscrito para tener una fecha. Got it? Um, so, entonces no se determina si hay alguien de ustedes que no termina la plataforma, por ejemplo, se atrasa el proceso. Por eso es que hacen, o sea, por eso es que eh, es súper es importante que terminen la plataforma ya si, si, puede, si pueden. Right? Ah, para que ya les manden el, los papeles para hacer la otra inscripción. Por eso es que es súper importante que la terminen temprano. Um, otra cosa que, guys, eh, vengan temprano a la clase, ¿ok? Yo me pongo, guys, primero los saludo y todo, right Y me tardo unos cinco minutillos uh, saludándolo y todo. Porque estoy esperando que se unan los demás, ¿ok? No esperen, guys, ¿ok? If, you, if you're here early, guys, si están aquí exactamente a la hora, guys, Entonces, empezamos todos esta hora, right? Got it? So, because it's a, it's a lot of material, you know, it's a montón de, de material, guys, and, and, you know, we need, we still need more time to practice, okay? Um, if you need me, guys, see, a, a veces veo, guys, que no han entendido la, las instrucciones de lo que se va a hacer en la práctica, and I ask, hey, do you have any questions, right? Guys, pregunten, mira, no le entendí, David, no te entendí porque se lo hace muy rápido. Right? Could you please speak slower? Podría hablar un poco más despacio, right? And I'll gladly speak slower, guys. Okay, I actually try to speak as slow as possible when I speak to you. Créanme, trata de hablar lo más claro y articuladamente posible cuando estoy hablando con ustedes. Okay? Right, so there is that, okay? So tomorrow, guys, okay? Uh, tomorrow, will I see you early? Lo voy a ver temprano, yes? Yes. All right, very good. Mañana, guys, maybe. tomorrow. I hope. Maybe. Don't say maybe, right? Practice. Guys, <laughs> guys um, mañana le voy a dar con la, con la parte, con la, con la sección 4. Okay, así que tiene que terminarla antes de la clase. All right? Got it? Tomorrow, guys, yes. I'll help you with that. Okay, so uh, any questions, guys? Any comments? Any complaints? ¿Qué has dudas? Preguntas? No? No questions. We're good. No. All right, great. All right. For this moment. All right, sounds good. In that case, guys, you have a very good night. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Good night. See ya.